Welcome in Design Hub. Welcome in Design Hub. This is first video of project management and planning series. We will use Primavera P6 for the planning of any project. We will learn stepwise. First step, start the Primavera P6. Put password as you set during installation time. After loading Primavera is open. First we discuss about navigating about Primavera. This is menu bar. This is navigation bar. This is directory bar. And this is command bar. This is Gantt chart area. This is project windows. Now second step is set the units or user preference of our project. Like unit of time, working time, 12 hours or 24 hours, date format, currency etc. If you don't have INR currency, follow video steps. other not that much required. After setup of user preference, now we reached in third step, setup admin preferences. This will help us to define starting days of the week of the calendar. Working hours per day, per week, hours per month, hours per year. In report, you can define header footer name etc. In industry type you can define your industry type. Now we are in fourth steps, we have to define working calendar as per our project. Our project is EPC type, in this have site construction, which is mostly 6 days a week. 
First we copy the standard 5 days working calendar, then we will modify. In modification, we can define working days, non-working days, holidays, working hour per day. Gubby dark color shows off days, as we discussed our project requirement is 6 days working. So now we will change Saturday from non-working day to working day. After define calendar, step 5 is to define enterprise, enterprise is a industry, in which we can create a project. First we create the enterprise. As per video instruction. Now we create project, this is sixth step, to create the project first you have to define enterprise. After selection of enterprise, now define the project ID and project name and project start date. Now project is fully defined. Now we will open the project to define the activity. To define the activity, first we have to break the project into different category, you can do using WBS. WBS will be help you to break the project into different category like conceptualization, detail engineering, procurement, manufacturing, site construction domain wise, then lastly commissioning. Now we will add the activity, as per WBS and plant activity schedule. 
you can add the activity by pressing the insert key or right click and select add. This is last step. And your project schedule is completed. In next video we will discuss about how to link the Gantt chart properly and how to generate the report.